Whatever happened to Stripling and those cursed tablets? Well. <laughs> yes, what happened to those cursed tablets? Stripling has said he was going to get this, these uh, cursed tablets uh, in publication by the end of summer. The end of summer has come and gone. We're now at the end of the year. I don't think publication's gone so well. Um, he did present his findings, including photos, at, uh, at the NES, which is the Near Eastern Archaeological Society, basically a society that's been taken over by the Associates for Biblical Research. And my man on, on the ground there, he, he basically communicated to me that this is not looking good. Uh, this is not looking good at all. Um, and from, my, from the photos I've seen, it's, and I agree, this is not looking good. I have a strong suspicion that his, his uh, publication did not meet peer review. That it didn't, that it got thrown back at him. And as my my man my my um, uh, producer just said, you know, commented in the corner here, um, peer review is a brutal process. It's supposed to be brutal. Just because you're an established name doesn't mean an automatic. Yeah. yeah, just because you're an established name does not mean you're an automatic in with peer review. It has to hold up. the The, the whole case has to hold water. Um, so what I think is going to eventually happen is that he's going to publish it in the NES journal because he's got a friendly audience there. So that's what I think is going to happen. I think his attempts to have published it in, he, he, he had picked an obscure, really obscure journal to, to publish it in. And I think that, that it's got some... Uh, it has some methodological issues in both how how the uh, epigraphy was done. I think there is some. Uh, there's definitely epigraphic issues. There's definitely epigraphic issues. Uh, just from what I've seen from the from the from the photographs, it's it's almost like they're um, they're 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 looking at the clouds and seeing a puppy, Peridolita. Pareidolia, sorry, pareidolia. You know, where you look up the clouds and you see a puppy floating by. Well, there's not a puppy in the clouds. You're just, your, your mind's sort of filling in the blanks. This happens to some epigraphers. And Gershon Galil is one of them that this happens to. So I think, I think there is, there's some real serious problems here with those cursed tablets. It's, it's as I said, not looking good. Not looking good at all. They missed their publication deadlines. We don't know why they missed their publication deadlines. There's now infighting within the uh, um, translation committee. Uh, Peter Van Der Vee no longer agrees with uh, Galil. Galil no longer agrees with Stripling. It's, there's a lot of infighting in there. So it's, it's just not looking good. So anyway, I didn't want to let this, this non-super chat pass without commenting on it because it's yeah, that's the update. It's just looking real bad. <laughs>